It's a Wood Chopping Times Weekend Project. Hello, fellow Wood Chopperoos. The Big Chopperoo and Safety Dan here. Hey. And today's weekend project is something that every traditional woodworking shop should have, and that is a glut. So a glut is actually a wedge used for splitting logs. Now the most common one you'll see are one of these metal ones. However, if you use this, you have to exercise some caution. Because if you have metal hitting metal, there's a good chance that the metal can come off as shrapnel, injuring yourself. So an older but safer method is to make one out of wood. I'm beginning with a hardwood. In this case it's maple. But you could also use anything such as elm, hickory, or sycamore. I'm going to add this metal band around the head of the glut to help prevent it from mushrooming when I strike it. To get the band to fit, I'm going to have to turn the head down on the lathe. So I'm going to find the center of the stock. The metal banding was some 2 inch tubing from an old agricultural drive shaft. I'm using dial calipers to measure the inside of the tubing and lock in the measurement. Now before I use my lathe, let's take a tip from Safety Dan. Oh hey, always make sure that you wear your hearing protection and safety glasses. That's good advice, Safety, but you know, when using a lathe, you should probably have like a face shield, and it's not that loud, so there's no need for the hearing protection. Chad, just wear the f Turning can be fun, but I don't want to get carried away with it. I don't want to turn the stock smaller than the measurements on my calipers. In fact, I want the stock to be slightly larger than the steel ring. Once the turning is done, I need to create the wedge. With my lines drawn on it, it's now over to the bandsaw. It's not necessary, but I'm taking the sharp corners off the edge with the spoke shape. Now as I mentioned before, the glut head is larger than the steel band, so to make it fit, I'll heat and expand the band with a propane torch. With the band heated, it easily drops over the glut head. Then, to shrink it back down to form a tight seal, I'll just quench it with some cool water. Now I'm fairly new to working with greenwood, but I got a log outside. So let's go give this baby a try. Well there you go, this was an easy, fun, and simple tool to make. And if you have some hardwood laying around in your shop, you ought to try making one for yourself. Um, safety, what are you doing? Well you said every shop should have a glut. Yeah, a glut, a glut, not a glutton. Tomato, tomato, whatever. Well if you like what you saw today, subscribe to us on YouTube. Or. You can join us on Facebook. And don't forget about the blog. Well, there's one more thing I gotta do. Sad, I think it's time for you to dance. Oh yeah.
Funding for this program provided by 